Hello. I like what you're doing. I absolutely hate animal abuse. Do you know what I'm doing? But no, what are you doing? Well, I usually ask people three or four questions. Huh? You got time for that? They're quick. Yeah. Three easy ones and a difficult one. So, right, okay. What's your name, first of all? Alicia. Alicia, my name's Cliff, pleased to meet you. Um, so first of all, tell me about animals. What's your thoughts on them? Animals, I love animals. I have a cat myself, she's called Olive. But I never really was a big animal fan until I had one myself. And yeah. then I realized that they've all got personalities and feelings. And, and then I became so much more empathetic to every little bug I see on the floor. I used to sort of think of them as objects, but until I had my own cat and I saw like yeah. how she was in I love that answer. Too. You see them, you used to see them as things and now you yeah. see them as some ones, not some things. Yeah, I would agree with you. Yeah. Um, animal abuse or people who abuse animals, what do you think of that? I absolutely hate it. I signed a lot of um, petitions for Greenpeace and okay. um, uh, I always get letters in the post from PETA as well. Okay. So, um, I'm all against like um, people mistreating things and like the extinction of bees and stuff like that. Yeah. And so, like I'm interested in that too. I was part of uh, Animal Rebellion, so it was kind of like climate change and stuff like that yeah. interlinked. And I, I see all those things as linked in PETA as well. It's interesting you said PETA. Uh, let me ask you the third question and then the fourth one's the harder one. So, okay, okay so the third question is, um, I forgot what the third question is. <laughs> yes, what would you qualify or how would you describe uh, abuse? Abuse? Yeah. Um... Maybe I could help you out. I have a description and you tell me if it, if it makes sense to you. So for me, it would be causing physical or mental harm to another being yeah. when it's completely unnecessary to do so. Yeah. Would you agree with that absolutely. roughly? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay. Fourth question, trickier one, no judgment, because I was part of it too. Okay. And I am not here to judge anybody. Who would I be to judge when I was part of it? So the animals that we send in the slaughterhouses, Mm -hmm. And we turn them into food and burgers and leather jackets and yeah. stuff like that. What's your thoughts on that? I personally would really love to stop eating meat. I really would. Um, but I just think that I am too small of a person to make enough change for it to stop. Okay. So. I understand that line of thinking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Heads up, by the way. I'm a vegan and an animal rights activist as well. Okay. And I'm trying to make people get the connection that if you think kicking a dog's bad or kicking a cat's bad yeah. well then like Kurt Zuma remember the footballer last year was kicking his cat and put it on social media and everybody was on up in arms about it well why is that bad but shooting a cow in the head or putting a pig in a gas chamber which is how we dispose of them here for yeah. bacon and pork or cutting chickens throats they all have personalities exactly. and exactly like other animals and I understand your point that it seems like an almighty task like if you if you go if you went vegan right yep. what difference does it make but here's the way i'm going to say it to you if everybody around here was being racist and you thought it was wrong would you be part of that or would you say no i wouldn't do that does that make sense 100%. yeah that's the way i see it yeah. so it's, <laughs> I, I worked with animal rebellion because it was trying to push for change from the top down but i actually think change will come from the grassroots, from people up, when people abstain and say, I don't support this, it's not necessary. I understand we're all taught when we're young that it's normal, need it, necessary to eat animal products. I haven't eaten an animal products since I was 19, I'm 56, 19? so I'm thriving on a vegan diet. Yeah. The science says you can survive and thrive eating a plant based diet. Okay. There's alternatives for everything these days, including shoes, jackets. I'm sure you wear some things that are accidentally vegan. My shoes, I mean, they're probably not the coolest, but they're vegan shoes. They look just like leather, you know? Yeah. Uh, is there a super dry blue or not? So, if all those alternatives are available and you can thrive on a plant-based diet, then what would be the excuse for taking a pig or a chicken or a cow or a sheep into a slaughterhouse or paying somebody else to do it? No excuse at all. Does that make sense to you, what 100%. I'm trying to say? Yep. And like I say, no judgement, because I was brought up probably the same as you. I thought I had to drink milk for calcium. Yeah, you do. Calcium's a mineral, comes from the ground. Mm -hmm. Cows have it in their milk because they eat grass, so we can just eat grains well, and get calcium. Exactly. Right, it's the same protein, the same. I'm not protein deficient. <laughs> There's no wards in the hospital for protein deficient vegans. You can get enough, eat enough food, you'll get enough protein. Uh -huh. So all these myths we're taught when we're young to do completely terrible things to animals. I've been to the slaughterhouses and watched it and seen it with my own eyes and I swear to God, if I could take you there, I know from talking to you, you have a good heart for animals already. See pigs, we put them in the gas chambers, suffocate them. Well. I've always loved pigs. Yeah. I've always wanted a micro pig. No. 
look. Pigs are really intelligent too. They are. And if you spend time around them, they interact with us just like dogs. And everybody looks at them as if they're dirty, but they're actually really lovely animals. They're, they're not dirty at all. Pigs are very clean, clean, clean animals. animals. Yeah, yeah, you know all this already. Yeah. yeah, they're dirty because we keep them in shite conditions. Yeah. And then at six months old, we take them out of the shit conditions, the hell they've been living in, and we send them on a truck to a gas chamber. And when they come out of the gas chamber, when they've been suffocated, they're hung upside down and somebody sticks a knife in their throat. Absolutely diabolical. So I know you're saying what change can I make, but you can make individual change by not by not paying for that and, and removing know, yourself from that. And I'll even know myself, you know, from the bottom of my heart that I'm doing something good as well. Yes, that's the thing. And it's not an ego trip. I go to bed at night. I'm an animal lover, like yeah. you. And for a large part of my life, I was paying for things because I thought it was necessary and needed it. And you see, now I have new information and I found out that it's not necessary. Well, then I've removed myself from that. And I go to bed at night and okay, I walk along the street and I, run, I step on bugs accidentally and yeah. I'm driving my car and I probably kill flies and bees accidentally. But I do no deliberate harm to any animal. I don't bring them any pain or suffering. And that's what it's about for me. Yeah. If they can feel pain or suffer, I don't want to be the cause of that. No, absolutely. And I, I don't, I think talking to you already, I don't think you'd want to be either. I don't think I don't think there should be a hierarchy that humans are any better than animals. You sound exactly like me. I agree. I see every. Every. We look at it from a human bias. Yep. We're the most important. We're, we're the most intelligent. We put ourselves there because we're the one making that decision. Yep. But who's to decide? Is intelligence the most? No, is it's best not. You know, can you fly? No. Are you the fastest runner? Mm -hmm. Are you the best climber? Mm -hmm. Are you the best hunter? Mm -hmm. Are you the best swimmer? Animals can do amazing things that yep. we cannot do. So. That's a biased position to say, oh, we're the most intelligent, we're the most important, and therefore we can do whatever the f we want to mm -hmm. other animals. Exactly. And I think the way to look at it is, individually, the life is important to everybody. It's the most valuable asset we have, and every life is equally important I to the that. one that's living that life. They just want peace and not to suffer like yep. all of us so that's how I look at it I do agree what with do you that. think all that? You agree with that I think you've really changed my mindset with the um, metaphor about racism you yeah. know the one person yeah. does make a change and there's another way to look at that too so I'm obviously an activist and I go out and talk to people on the streets that's what I'm doing today so say you say you went vegan yeah or say say I made 50 people this year go go vegan because of what I told them and they all spoke to one other person in a year and those people went vegan by the same information well there's a hundred people and then 200 people that's the way i look at it so it's exponential change is, that yeah. by just spreading the word and i'm not like i say i'm not here, out here judging anybody because i paid for it too so i'm not going to shout at you <laughs> you're an asshole because you're you know you're not you genuinely love animals it's just a new way of thinking about it. new perspective yeah New perspective. Thank you so much for the new perspective today. I actually will take that on 100%. Can I give you a wee card before you go? Yes, of course. You said your name was Alicia again, yeah. yeah. I run a wee YouTube channel, but um, I'm going to... Oh, my cards are in here. I'm going to ask you to watch one thing. Okay. So there's environmental stuff on here, like oh. Cowspiracy, Seaspiracy. So I don't know if you've seen them. Game Changers is a film by James Cameron and it's full of athletes and people that are vegan, like Lewis Hamilton and really famous um, Novak Djokovic, yep. Venus and Serena Williams, they all eat plant-based yep. so if they can do it, Absolutely. I can bloody do it. Yep. Uh, but the one I want you to watch, free to watch on YouTube, best speech you'll ever hear by this guy. Okay. It's literally the best speech I've ever heard okay. in my life. Thank you so much. If I've much. given you something to think about, that guy inside five minutes, I listened to this speech and I went, holy shit, right, I have to go vegan. Yeah, yeah. I love animals. I'm not paying for people to stab animals yeah. when I don't need to. So. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you so that was much. a great conversation. <laughs> Thank you. Have a nice day. And I'll even know myself, you know, from the bottom of my heart that I'm doing something good.